Okay, so we didn't cover ex installing the Baytop extension with the installation of the um, extensions that we had before. So just go ahead and go over to github.com slash observing slash Baytop. Uh, click that green code button, download the file, and then unzip it and copy baytop.inx and baytop.py into your Inkscape extension folder, the same one you put your other papercraft extensions in. Know is that when we made that bay window, we used an octagon that had a width of three and a half inches, and we cut off the pieces of it and uh, unioned it. So let me just show you real quick what that process was, just to refresh your memory. So we had an octagon, eight corners, and we set that octagon, changed it to a path, and then we locked the proportional settings and set it to 3.5. So that's what we worked with, went into the node tool, uh, got rid of the extra points with a control delete. And that's what we then added to our structure for our bay window. We don't need this piece in order to construct our bay window roof, but I just wanted to make sure that you knew that we had this three and a half inch span right here because that is important. So for right now, I'm going to delete that. Come up to extensions and papercraft bay top. The number of polygon sides we used was eight. The smaller back width this is how wide do you want this at the top back of your roof. So when the roof tapers up, it's going to taper up to three quarters of an inch. I'm making my larger back match the window. I could make it a little larger and have it stick out, but since the sides of our house are um, exactly equal to the bay window, I'm going to make this flush with the bay window, so I'm going to set it to three and a half inches. If I wanted to have it extend past, I probably would have wanted to have my bay window slightly smaller than the width of the house so that it wouldn't look strange when it was applied. There will be four total sides. That counts the back plus the three window sides. The object height is going to be 0.75 inches. That's going to be how how tall our roof is. The angle tab we can leave as it is. I set the height of my tab to 0.2 um, just because I have a very small top width here and I was afraid they would fall over each other. I might have to trim them. And for the same reasons, I decided to make my dash lines default to a little smaller size. Uh, so the dash lines on the wrapper, I usually leave this on because it makes it easier to apply the wrapper once I put things in place. I will click on Apply. We can close this window, and now we see that we have the pieces that we need here to build our roof. So it's very straightforward. Um, if you wanted a nice shiny copper roof, for instance, you, this piece here is our decorative piece, so you would want to cut that out of a nice coppery paper. Um, the rest of the pieces are structure pieces, the bottom, the top, the back, and the side, and they're very easy to put together. So that's it for the bay top. And we will look later to see how we actually put the pieces together.